Hey guys, Pokey Trips here, and today I am by myself playing some Minecraft. And as you just saw on the bottom right, the reason that I decided to start recording here, I found a fossil actually. I've been grinding off screen trying to get some good stuff, uh, make the episodes actually a little bit more interesting. I got a lot of iron, I got an, uh, another ball from Pokey Loot, I got a max revive actually, and I just stumbled upon a fossil while mining. And there's some lava over there. So, I'm going to go ahead and mine this fossil. I'm really hoping for an old amber. Now, if you don't know how a fossil works, you can actually get different uh, Pokemon from the fossil, or different types of fossils of different Pokemon. It's, it's weird, but let's go ahead and see what I get here. I got a Lilip fossil. That's my least favorite fossil, one of my least favorite Pokemon. Yes, sir. So as you just saw there, uh, I fell in the lava, and then my pick broke, so it was a pretty nice fail. So I'm just gonna let the lava consume me here. And I need to turn the volume down a little bit, actually. Sorry about that. Let me just... That's probably good. But as you can see, I did a little bit more work. I edited the uh, the farm back here a little bit more, uh, as you can see. Now there is a problem with this, though. You can see that, obviously, there's some of this missing. Apparently, you can only place, like... 20 apricorns in a chunk as you can see there's this is a chunk right here and I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so you can play 16 in a chunk and then these apricorns right here are in a separate chunk so I could probably place uh, some more apricorns over here and eventually I could all make it more efficient and I could have a bunch of apricorn farms like one chunk of yellow apricorns, one chunk of red, one chunk of white, etc, etc. So, I actually did get a huge stock of apricorns, as you can see here. I'm just going to organize my chest real quick, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so, as you can see, I did get a bunch of apricorns. I got a bunch of other stuff, too. You can see here, I actually have a mega stone, because if I could talk, Riley and I, since I want to be grammatically correct, were playing on the server earlier. And he killed a Mega Venusaur, which gave him this Venusaurite and a Mega Stone. And he doesn't want the Venusaurite, so he gave it to me. I'm gonna go ahead and heal my Pokemon here while I'm talking. But yeah, as you can tell, I did get a Staravia. I trained up Pokemon a little bit. As opposed to all of them being like level 5, I have a level 13, 20, 13, and 11. And I was really hoping on that last mining trip to find some Redstone. Because I really want to make a PC so I can put this pincer up and maybe catch some new Pokemon. But this episode, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to start farming pokeballs. Let me go plant these saplings real quick. And then you can see that there's a mega Charizard Y. So we briefly discussed it in the last video, Michael and I did. But basically when you kill a mega, you get a mega stone and a mega ring. And what you can do with that is of course mega evolve the Pokemon. But you only get the mega stone of the Pokemon you killed. So like because Riley killed a mega Venusaur, he got a Venusaurite. And their levels are like, I think, 10 higher than your highest level or something. So we might be able to take on like a Mega Venusaur if we find one because of Staravia. I'm not completely sure though. But this episode, I do, as I said before, want to make some Pokeballs. I got a bunch of wood here. And I want to make like a little side thing to the house to make Pokeballs in. If this stupid little shuckle would get out of our way, that'd be much appreciated. So let's go ahead and show you my Staravia here. It knows intim or its ability is Intimidate, so that's really good. Cuts the attack in half. And it knows Wing Attack, Double Team Quick Attack, and Tackle. Now, I actually do have a story about Staravia. Um, I recently played through Pokemon Platinum. I love Pokemon Platinum, minus the HMs. The HMs are required to do anything in that game, and I hate it. But other than that, it's a really good game, and I really recommend it. Unless you're a first-time player. Uh, this Shuckle might actually kill me. Oh, no, 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 there we go. I'm gonna take all those. But, uh, I don't like I don't dislike the starters in Sinnoh. The Sinnoh starters are probably the second best in my opinion. But I decided not to use a starter that let's play because I don't know, starters I use them way too much. I use those ones way too much at least and I want to try something new. So I made a Starly my starter because in the first time playing through the game, I did something similar where I used Infernape for like the main story of the game and then I ditched him and used this Starly that I had for the rest of the game and it became my main guy. But, yeah, I, 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 just, I love Starly and Staravia. I actually might pick it up in the PDA, because it's still available right now, so that'd be really cool. Choice Scarf, Staravia with Close Combat, Brave Bird, and all that. Or, uh, Staraptor, my bad. But anyway, let's go ahead and, and a Pidgeotto appeared. Of course. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little side thing to this house. Ok, 
Okay, so there's a Mega Venusaur actually, and it's shiny, which don't be getting too excited. Shiny Megas are very common. It's like a 1 in 10, 1 in 20 chance, something like that. There's actually a Chimchar here, which I would catch if we had more than two Pokeballs. Let's go ahead and try to take out this Mega Venusaur. So the Shinies are like the bigger versions of the bosses, and they're actually up 20 levels instead of 10. So we're going to get completely decimated. And Fanfy escaped. Fanfy's a freaking legend. Thank you, Fanfy. So we're just gonna leave these things unroofed for now, but now I can actually show you guys how to make Pokeballs. So let me just grab all of our Apricorns here, and the first step to making Pokeballs is cooking all of your Apricorns, which we are going to do now. And I'm gonna cut until they are all cooked, or until at least some of them are cooked. So we now have a little bit of almost every Apricorn, and now basically how it works is you make metal, or you make lids with these Apricorns. You can do three red ones to make uh, five Pokeball lids. There's a bunch of different combinations. I think, let's see, yeah, Nest Ball with a yellow in the middle and two green. There's just a bunch of different combinations. I believe Great Ball is, if I could freaking, there we go. Great Ball is a blue surrounded by two red, or a, a red surrounded by two blue, then. Yeah, there we go. But the reason that I wanted black Apricorns in the first video is because they're used to make Ultra Balls. So now we can't make Ultra Balls. They're also used to make Dusk Balls. So black Apricorns are very vital, which is why in this chunk over here, I started a black Apricorn farm with this little dude right here. And I'm just going to let it spread like wildfire because black Apricorns are the most useful out of all of them, at least in my opinion. So now that we are able to make Pokeballs, I am going to make Pokeballs. Now... Even though you can make some lids, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that. You make some lids here. We're going to do regular Pokeballs. Even though you can do this, you still don't have the Pokeball yet. You have to get one of these anvils, which is made like so. You need seven iron. Yeah, there we go. Worked out perfectly, actually. And then you go here, and you do a sideways... You need eight iron. Wow, oops. You do sideways pants with one in the middle and then you get one of these little anvils now there's no point in having two of them so I'm not gonna waste my iron but then you get one of these anvils and you make sure you need a hammer it's basically a pickaxe but all around the top five right here are iron ruby whatever whatever you wanna make it out of I guess and then boom you got this now you have to put the pokeball disc onto the anvil you heard it there and you have to hit it with your iron hammer you just hold in left click and eventually it'll press it down and spit it out like so there we go you also need to do this with aluminum plates let me find some aluminum so I think I was wrong actually my voice cracked a little bit there but the way to make lids is three iron I believe yeah I was wrong the way to make lids is three iron like that and then you get five lids I don't I was thinking of healers healers are what you need aluminum plates for so that's on me oops anyway once you have all the stuff you need you can get a Pokeball, you have to flatten the lids the exact same way as the lid. Or you have to flatten the bases the exact same way as the lids, my bad. And then once you do that, you need to make sure you have at least one cooked stone, and you need to turn that cooked stone into a button. So I only have seven cobblestone here, so I'm going to need to go mine some in a second. But once this cooks, I will be able to show you how to make a Pokeball. Now, it's the exact same way for any Pokeball. It's basically a crafting recipe, Pokeball lid on the base, and then you have a button anywhere that you can have a button basically observe you put a button bottom left I know the texture pack messes it up but you put a button in the bottom left you put all this there you get a pokeball you put the base here you get a pokeball you put the pokeball pokeball lid under the base you get a pokeball it's just boom now I gotta catch them all so I got a pokeball I successfully made a pokeball so now we can actually go out and we can start catching things so that I thought that was a Tyranitar I was like oh my goodness so I'm actually gonna sit here and I'm gonna farm pokeballs for a little bit and then we're gonna head out. I'm gonna try to make some new combinations and make things easier to catch.
Sableye, which is kind of important because I don't know if they still do, but in past updates, they had a, a chance to drop a very rare item, at least in vanilla Minecraft, and oh my goodness, I don't know if we'll be able to take it out, actually. Okay, crap. I don't know if we'll be able to take it out. Ugh, this is not looking good. Oh, Fanfy lives. Oh, wait, you sleer. Oh, come on, you sleer again. Oh. Oh, oh, Fanfy did it. Fanfy did it. It didn't drop anything. Basically, Sable, I have a chance to drop diamonds, or at least they used to. So just be on the lookout for those. Ooh, this Larvitar could be a good way to show you how to catch Pokemon. So we're just going to get in a battle with it here. Send out Pinsir. Pinsir is going to use Seismic Toss, and we're going to get the Larvitar low. Now, Larvitar has a very low catch rate, but it would be kind of cool to have one and use one. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it, because I don't want to waste my level or lure ball, because those could be vital eventually. We're going to see if it catches. You can see it on the screen. Oh, it broke free. I'm only going to try two Pokeballs on it, I think, because I don't want to waste all of the Pokeballs we just made on it. So you can see it on screen there, it's shaking, and it popped out again. You get one more chance, Larvitar, and then you're getting killed. And actually, yeah, there it is again. Barely on screen. Apparently you can rotate the camera, though. Oh, whoa, 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 Michael wasn't kidding. You can rotate the camera. So, screw it, I'm just going to waste all the Pokeballs we have on him. And... We didn't catch it. It shook three times, but we didn't catch it. Last Pokeball, Larvitar, and then you're dead. It's shaking. Come on. It's good. It's good. It's good. No, bro. Larvitar. I don't even want you, but now I do. I'm going to throw a level ball. If this doesn't catch, then I'm going to be very disappointed, because that level ball looks really nice. And look really nice on the tar Tyranitar. Oh. Yes, sir. That is nice. And you get XP for catching Pokemon. So that, that Larvitar on the level ball actually looks really nice. The cool thing about catching things in cool-looking Pokeballs is on the left side of the screen, you can see it actually shows the sprite for what Pokeball it's in. So that is really awesome. And when you send it out, I will demonstrate in a second, it will show it go out in that Pokeball. So, that looks sick. I am glad we caught the, ty the Larvitar in that. I don't know why I keep saying Tyranitar. It'll eventually be a Tyranitar. I think that'll be all for this episode. Just a nice, short, quick episode by myself to teach you guys how to make Pokeballs. And I'm going to go back to grinding off screen, making a lot more Pokeballs for us. And leave down below what you guys would like to see us do in the next episode. Michael and myself, or Cameron and myself, or any of my friends and myself. Let me know down below what you'd like to see us do, because we do need goals for this series. And for now, guys, this has been Poke Trips, logging off.